in 2021, we launched our awesome Orbit competition and our chosen winner, Bethany! was selected in May 2022 out of thousands of entries to have the emblem she designed be put on a real satellite. As well as that, Bethany's prize included the chance to learn more about satellites at some of the UK's biggest space hubs. The first stop was Harwell Campus. This place is filled with high-tech and top-secret space projects. But before Bethany's winner's experience can get going, there's something pretty important that she needs. <gasps> Bethany! Cool! Whoa! Put it on, put it on! Thank you, Von Kawan. Your work here is done. Bye! See you later! Before a satellite can head up to orbit, they have to be tested, which is exactly what happens here. RAL Space is the UK's National Space Lab. And Bethany was given exclusive access to their state-of-the-art facilities and even helped out with some testing. So this tests shock that goes through your spacecraft when the stages separate. So we want to make sure that the spacecraft is, remains intact after that happens. Three, two, one. We've also got permission to enter a clean room and check out one of the giant testing chambers. One of the testing processes that we go through is the thermal vacuum test. So there's two main things that we've got to simulate. One of them is the pressure. So we do this by sucking all of the air out using big pumps. And then the other aspect is the temperature. Do you know how cold it is in space, Bethany? This is zero degrees. Absolute zero degrees, yeah. On the Celsius scale, that's around minus 273, which is really, really cold. This chamber basically just provides that space environment and allows us to test the satellites. It's like a giant freezer. It's so cool to think that my satellite's been in one of these and done one of these tests. It is incredible. These tests are important to ensure that satellites can do their job in space. Satellites also help us to explore the universe and can travel to distant planets. Here we are, this is the Mars Yard at Airbus. This is about the closest that you can get to being on Mars whilst still actually being on Earth. These are some of the prototypes that we use to test the rovers that will be going to Mars. Our rover has a top speed of two centimetres a second. Speed is not something we need on Mars. To move it forwards, you click on this. So if you want to do that, NASA has sent five robotic vehicles called rovers to Mars. Only a handful of people in the world have helped test out the rovers in this way. And our Blue Peter competition winner, Bethany, is one of them. Next, we meet Steve, who's been working hard to make Bethany's design into the emblem that will go on the satellite. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Bethany. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. So your design, which we've got on this screen, um, we scanned in. We can then scale it up, change the colour. We can do all sorts of really cool things with it. Wow. And then this probably was numerous hours of, of drawing. What was the name of your satellite? What did you give them? Uh, Earth Sitter. So we thought we could add that in. <gasps> That's so cool. So what we did was we took the colours from your original drawing and we've used those around the outside. Wow! That's what's going to end up on the satellite as well. Oh, that is so cool. How does it feel watching that? It's so cool because it's like my own design coming to life again. Exactly. <laughs> and Bethany was given the first look of the plaque displaying her design that will be part of a real-life satellite. Ta-da! <laughs> so this here is your plaque that you designed. So cool! Look yeah. at that! <laughs> It's what we saw on screen. Yeah. How does it feel to see that in real life? It's really cool. Yeah? The colour one, it's kind of, it's a lot, a lot different to this. Mm -hmm. But when you see it on this and you can think that it's going into space, it's really cool. Yeah. Over the next few months, the teams prepped the satellite ready for its launch. And on January the 9th, 2023, the big day came. The launch was scheduled for the middle of the night at Spaceport Cornwall. And thousands of people came to witness this special event. This is the first ever orbital space launch from UK Shores and thanks to Bethany's super cool Irish competition badge. Show them Bethany. There it is. And these really cool press passes. We have access to all areas. So, Bethany, are we going to explore? Yeah. Come on, go, go, go! <laughs> thanks to Bethany's exclusive access, we got a VIP view of the big takeoff from the media zone. So, this is the media zone. Look at all the cameras. 
a whole row of them. I mean, the only people that get to be here are TV stations from around the world and news reporters. And thanks to Bethany for winning the Blue Piece of Competition. You get to be here, I get to be here. Beautiful view, fun row. And we didn't have long to wait for the big moment. <gasps> here it goes, <gasps> countdown, ready? Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. Lift off. <gasps> with Bethany's design on board, heading into space. Bethany and I had a great view of the launch, but we know that space travel is unpredictable. Although the rocket was successfully deployed, the satellites didn't make it to orbit this time, so the mission is still ongoing. But Bethany's VIP journey has been amazing, and she's experienced things that most space fans can only dream of all thanks to the fact that she was a Blue Peter competition winner.